all right my people welcome back on to this channel thanks so much for subscribing to this channel our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to support you all in all your endeavors all right my people this is another one well on today's this is samuel ladoke akintola of ugbumosho the 13th array on kakamfo of yoruba land all right my people on today's in addition to seven as one of the founding fathers of modern nigeria samuel ladoki akintola was installed the 13th array on kakamfo of the yoruba land Uloye Samuel Ladoke Akintola was born in Ugbumosho to the family of Akintola, Akimbola, and then Akake. His father was a trader and then descended from a family of traders. At a young age, the family moved to Mena and then he was briefly educated at a church missionary society school in the city in 1922 he returned to ogbomosho to live with his grandfather and subsequently attended a baptist day school before proceeding to baptist college in 1925 he taught at the baptist academy from 1930 to 1942 and then thereafter worked briefly with the Nigerian Railway Corporation during this period, he became acquainted with H.O. Davis, a lawyer and then politician, and then joined the Nigerian Youth Movement where he assisted Ikoli and then supported the latter to represent Lagos in the Legislative Council over the candidacy of Samuel Akinsoya, who was supported by Azikiwe. He joined the staff of the Daily Service newspaper and then soon became the editor in 1943 with the support of Akinola Maja, a shareholder replacing annexed Ikoli as editor. Akintola was also founder of Euro Yoruba, a newspaper written in the Yoruba language in 1945, he opposed the general strike led by Azikwe's NCNC and then Michael Imodu, earning the distrust of politicians like Antony Enauro in 1945. He earned a British scholarship to study in the UK and uh, completed legal studies by 1950 he started his legal career working as a lawyer on land and then civil matters in 1952 he formed a partnership with chris ogumbanjo chief body thomas and then michael adesoya after he was trained as a lawyer in the United Kingdom, Akintola returned to Nigeria in 1949 and then teamed up with other educated Nigerians from the Western region to form the Action Group AG under the leadership of Chief Obafemi Awulowo. He initially was the legal advisor of the group before becoming the deputy leader in 1953 after the death of Bode Thomas. He defeated Arthur Prest in the primary to succeed Bode Thomas as the deputy leader of the AG party. He did not serve in the regional western region government headed by the premier Awulowo, but was the action group parliamentary leader and the leader of opposition in the house of representatives of nigeria at the federal level he served as minister for health and then later minister for communications and aviation Decisions over the direction of strategic alliance by the party, the adoption of democratic 
socialism as the party's platform and the battle for supremacy in the party led to disagreement between chiefs Akintola and then Aulawo. Akintola disagreed with Aulawo's decision not to join the coalition government. Akintola felt the Yoruba people of the West were losing their preeminent position in business, university, and administration in Nigeria to the Igbo people of the East simply because the Igbo controlled NCNC had joined the government and the AG had not. He also opposed the party's decision to adopt democratic socialism as its ideology, preferring a more conservative stance. Akitola was married to Chief Mrs. Faderera Akintola and then had five children, two of whom were later to become ministers of state for finance in the Nigerian Third Republic. Chief Yomi Akintola and then Chief Dr. Abimbola Akintola, Chief Yomi Akintola also served as Nigerian's ambassador to Hungary and then Samuel Akintola's daughter-in-law, Mrs. Dukwe Akintola, was Nigeria's High Commissioner in Jamaica. His fourth child, Chief Victor Ladipo Akintola, dedicated much of his life to ensuring the continued accurate accounting of Samuel Akintola's contributions to Nigeria's position on the world stage. He published many works, including a biography that highlighted his father's love of his country and the lifelong commitment to its progress. Akintola, the man and the legend, his youngest child, Tokumbo. Akintola was the first black boy at Eton College and then features prominently in the best-selling book by Dilibe Oyama. Niger at Eton. Akintola was accused by Chief Aulowo for trying to supplant him as leader of the party in May 1962 with the Western House of Assembly set to remove Akintola after the party had earlier passed a vote of no confidence in the Premier in a party meeting crisis erupted on the floor of the House. The AG party broke into two factions leading to several crises in the Western Region House of Assembly that led the central slash federal government headed by the Prime Minister Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa to declare state of emergency rule in the Western Region and the Chief Dr. M. A. Majeko Dumi, the Federal Minister of Health, was appointed as administrator. Eventually, Akintola was restored to power even though he had lost the legal battle with the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council, then Nigeria's IS Tribunal, as Premier in 1963. In the general election of 1965, Akintola won his position as Premier, not as member of the Action Group Party, but as the leader of a newly formed party called Nigerian National Democratic Party, NNDP, which was in an alliance with the Northern People's Congress, NPC, the party that then controlled the federal government. Akintola was assassinated in Ibadan, the capital of Western Region, on the day of Nigeria's first military coup of 15th January 1966, which terminated the First Republic, also known as the Young Major Coup, or the Coup of the January Boys. The coup resulted in the assassination of many leading politicians, mostly members of the Northern People's Congress. Akintola was a dignified orator in 1962. He was responsible for completing the founding of the University of Ife. 
a brainchild of Awolowo, which was renamed in his honor. He was also involved in the development of Premier Hotel and then other monuments, a number of institutions, including Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Ugbumosho, were established in both the Uluis home town and then other Nigerian cities as a means of remembering him. Post to Mosley. All right, and then sources the nation online Akintola, the man and the legend, the Nigerian Civil War, Ade, Adenle, Kolade Samuel, the fate of Africa, a history of 50 years of independence. Hmm, all right, my people, and then this is what it is right now. Well, and uh, according to what is gathered here, hmm, he's a great leader with no record of corruption, a man that cannot be silenced by one man dictatorial tendencies all right and then that has been said by guests and then according to an anonymous person yes as well as an addition when akintola lost his case at privy council in london he then appealed to the then west african court of appeal and he won and until then before he took charge of the governance of the western region again james adi says well he is an hero his will ever be he will ever be remembered in the history of yoruba politics all right my people and then this is what it is right now onto this one what more can we say me well let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless